before this video start i wanted to remember you all the feature mentioned in this video also have almost all of the newer version router too but some of the feature might missing in older version router depend on router brand this feature could be different place with different name but things are the same just for demonstration and better understanding purpose i am going to use my pc you can do that same step by using your mobile phone number 1 you can hide your network ssid so it will not be visible directly your mobile phone or laptop and when you want to connect that wifi you have to connect it manually first type your ssid name then security and password now connect also you can lower the transmit power if someone is stealing your wifi then he will not get that much of wifi range so basically he cannot access the wifi little bit of far range also you can disable the wireless radio if you wish to do it for some reason but don't worry your wired connection will work normally like your pc but your wireless connection will not have any access to the network number 2 you can create multiple ssid on your router with different name with different security type depend on router brand you can create one or more than one some of the router this feature called guest id and when you want to share your wifi network with your guest like your friend and neighbor you can share that network for security reason number 3 you can connect your wifi network without entering the wifi password yes you can connect it by using your wps push button from your router back side press and hold the wps push button for 3 second and in your mobile turn on the wps push button now it will automatically connect your wifi without entering the password and some of the router you can enable the wps push button from router access page also you can try wps pin entry as you can see there is my router pin you can use that router pin to connect your wifi but there is a issue if you have android 9 or 10 or more than 10 then you need root permission otherwise wps client protocol will not work but if you have android version less than 9 then you can easily use wps client protocol without root access if you want to know more details about wps or how to hack wifi then you can watch this video number 4 as you know when you share your wifi password with anyone he can share that wifi password with someone through her qr code or if he simply take a screenshot of that qr code then he upload that to an google lens it will show him the wifi password now if you change your wifi security to wep then he will not be able to share your wifi through qr code or decrypt your password through google lens now in my case to enable the wep security my wps need to be disabled so let's disable the wps first in web security there is some restriction if you choose 64 bit key then you only be able to choose five character of password and if you choose 128 bit key then technically you will be able to choose more than five character but in my case it's not working also i tried hexadecimal key format with mixed type of password different character and lots of combination but it didn't work for me also i google about it but i didn't find any proper solution i don't know guys what's the issue here number 5 you can block the internet in a specific device from your router and it's most of the time under security then access control now turn on the access control now add a blacklist device and as you can see these are my online device which is currently connected to my wifi network and these are my router assign ip device mac address you need that ip and mac address to block a device but in my case just mac address is needed if you want to know your device mac address then for windows user open cmd and type ipconfig 
स्लैश ऑल इट विल शो यू द डिवाइस मैक एड्रेस फॉर एंड्रॉइड यूजर गो टू द सेटिंग्स अबाउट नाउ इट विल शो योर डिवाइस मैक एड्रेस टाइप ए डिवाइस नेम एंड डिवाइस मैक एड्रेस विच यू वॉन्ट टू ब्लॉक एंड सेव इट अनदर वे यू कैन सिंपली सिलेक्ट डिवाइस एंड क्लिक ऑन ब्लॉक इट विल डू द सेम थिंग ऑल्सो यू कैन एड मोर बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन प्लस आईकॉन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव दैट डिवाइस फ्रॉम ब्लैक लिस्ट दैन सिंपली क्लिक ऑन डिलेट आईकॉन नंबर सिक्स डू नो गाइज यू कैन ब्लॉक सर्टेन वेबसाइट फॉर सर्टेन डिवाइस येस यू कैन डू दैट बाय गोइंग टू इन पेरेंट कंट्रोल Add a new device. Also, you can add device by typing the MAC address manually and set the effective time. Now, add new keyword which you want to block for that particular device. As well as you can add more device, disable it or delete it. Number 7 you can limit internet speed for a specific device first turn on the bandwidth control now there is two option total upstream bandwidth some other router it call increase bandwidth it mean total upload speed and total downstream bandwidth or increase bandwidth it mean total download speed now open speedtest.net and check internet speed Now as you know 1 MB equal equal 1024 KB now you might wondering or might hear it 1 MB equal equal 1000 KB yeah both are right 1 MB equal equal 1000 KB it mean kilobyte it calculate in decimal measurement and 1 MB equal equal 1024 KB it calculate in binary measurement and so on and so on now multiply your download speed with 1024 Now note that number with your notepad because this number will be needed If you divide this number with 8 now you will get your actual download speed same way you can calculate your upload speed put here your upload and your download speed remember this is not real one which divided by 8 you have to put here which multiplied by 1024 and here is the thing that number of speed will be limited all over your wifi internet connection now if you choose a better internet speed in next month but you will not be able to use it more than which you make limit over your internet connection That's why if you choose any random maximum number it shouldn't cause any problem because as you know you are not getting that much of internet speed anyway Now save it it may ask you to reboot your router Now here is the main part go to the controlling rule and add new one in IP range you need to put your specific IP which device you want to control the bandwidth also you can put the range of IP like 192.168.0. One hundred and one two one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one hundred and five. This way, your internet speed will be limited all that device which your router assigned this number of IP to those device. Also, if you want to know device assign IP, then go to the network and select LAN setting, and here you will see your device assign IP, MAC address, and device name. Now back to the bandwidth control and put that IP. in which device you want to control the bandwidth now in port range you can leave that as it is then in protocol by default it select all next priority by default it is stay 5 you can change that value 1 means the highest priority and 8 means the lowest priority now upstream and downstream carry you need to calculate one more thing 1 mb equal equal 8 mb 
and if you want to give this device speed 1 MB then as you can see it measure speed in kbps and you also know 1 MB equal equal 1024 kbps if 1 MB equal equal 8 MB then you need to multiply 8 with 1024 and the number you get is only for 1 Mbps and if you multiply 60 with 1024 this is number for 2 Mbps and so on and so on. Now in upstream or egress bandwidth I am going to set 1 Mb to 2 Mbps and in downstream or ingress bandwidth I am going to set the same value 1 Mb to 2 Mbps. And that's basically how you can make speed limit over your Wi-Fi network. I know guys, this part is little bit of tricky because there is little bit of mathematic calculation you need to understand. And if you have any issue regarding with this part, then you can watch this part again. I hope it will make you easier to understand. Number 8. You can use your Wi-Fi router as a Wi-Fi repeater. Yes, you can use it. Go to the operation mode. Here you will see there is main 3 options. Router, Access Point, Range Extender As you know, in router mode, your router connect to the internet, directly view dynamic IP, static IP, PPPoE, L2TP or PPTP and share the internet access to the multiple wired or wireless device. Second, in Access Point mode, your router connect to a wired connection, wired or wireless router, view a Ethernet cable and extend the wireless network. And third, range extender. In this mode, your router connect to a wireless router and extend the wireless network. Now, if you want to use Ethernet cable to extend the wireless network, then choose access point option. And if you want to connect the wireless network and extend the wireless network, then choose range extender option. Now, before you do that, I wanted to remember you, if your router using as a router mode, then probably your ISP connect to a internet directly via dynamic IP, static IP, etc. Now, make sure you copy that connection type, IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS server. Because after you using router mode as a access point or range extender, then if you want to go back to the router mode or for some reason your router IP address is not working or page crashing for some reason, then you may need to perform factory reset. Then, if you want to set up the router mode again, then your IP address and another thing will be needed to get back your internet access. Now, connect to a network. By default, your extended network will get the same name and password, but you can change it. And here is the thing, before you connect to another router, if your main router IP, which one you want to use as a range extender, both IP are same, then make sure you change your repeater IP, otherwise your connection will not work. Also make sure you disable your DHCP if by default it's not disableable. Number 9. It is easy but really helpful. Change your router default access password admin1234 to something else. So no one can get access your router page with your default password and messed up your router page settings. Number 10. If you are using Wi-Fi router more than years or about to reach years and if you are getting slow internet speed then you can simply perform factory reset. But before you factory reset, make sure you copy your IP and other address, also connection type. Because after you perform factory reset, to complete the setup, this IP address and another information will be needed to get a active internet connection. Otherwise, your internet may not work. Also, if you forgot your router access page password, then factory reset can help you. And these are the top 10 Wi-Fi secret tips and tricks. I think every Wi-Fi user should know about it. Guys, if you are still stick with me end of the video, that means you probably find something helpful on this video or probably you love it. Then you can find lots of other helpful video on my channel. Please do check that out. I think you will love that too. Also consider subscribe. It will be miraculous for me.